So I just finished my shower and today I am going to show you how to make iris caldo which is a rice porridge. So my mother-in-law is not feeling well and every time uh, anybody is sick in our family I usually make them some rice porridge because it's full of like nutrients I think and the spices would just make them feel really good and eventually my husband love it and every time he's sick as well he always asks me to make that for him so I'm gonna make my mother-in-law so and hopefully it will make her feel better aside from that we're just gonna eat our scaldo for supper later so I hope you enjoy this video thank you Aris caldo is a type of Filipino rice and chicken porridge or a Filipino version of congee. It is typically one of my comfort food and it is also often served with hard-boiled eggs, chopped scallions, toasted garlic, and the Philippine lime which is called calamansi. Once the chicken is thawed, you can cut it into bite size, then season it with garlic powder, salt, and pepper. So I already sprinkled some garlic, salt and pepper for my chicken and I have here onion, garlic, ginger although I needed a lot of ginger so I'm still waiting for my husband he's gonna get some at Walmart and some green onions as well so while waiting for him we're gonna chop this My boiled eggs doesn't look aesthetically, oh, aesthetically no. pleasing at all because two of those eggs were cracked so that's how it looks like, but we're just gonna let it boil a little bit and clean it off afterwards.
heating the wok and then add the chicken so that I would be able to cook it and then later on I also added the chopped onions to saute them together I mentioned earlier in this video about using the calamansi which is a Filipino lime although we don't have it available in our local stores so I have the lemon instead as a substitute. In here, I added one chicken broth cube to add more flavor in this recipe. Add the uncooked rice and then mix and cook for a few minutes. Pour in the water and bring it to boil, stir occasionally and you can also add more water according to your consistency and then simmer until the rice is fully cooked for about 30 to 40 minutes. So I fried some garlic because this is going to be our toppings for the porridge. And the purge is almost done. We're just gonna add some salt and pepper. So we're just gonna wait for that to cook. I mean, it's almost cooked anyway. And today's really perfect to eat our scaldo since the weather or the climate's a little bit gloomy and it tastes really good when it's about that time, especially on rainy days, and it rained this morning. So I think it's perfect that I made our scaldo today. And I'm just gonna set aside for my mother-in-law since she's coming later around supper. And yeah, it's almost done. I love it. So the Irish caldo is done, but we're not hungry yet. We're just gonna cover that up. So these are the toppings. I made some extra chicken for my toppings to just you know eat a lot of protein. And I have here the toasted garlic, the spring onions, and the lemon to squeeze. These are all toppings. And I also have boiled egg here. So I'm gonna show it to you later when it's time to eat. We're just, it's just too early right now to eat and I just had lunch. It's finally time to assemble our bowl, so just add a generous amount of hot caldo and then arrange all the garnish. Don't forget to squeeze your lemon guys and enjoy!
so my mother-in-law will take it home with her and an extra one for her to bring at work. Hey lovelies, I really appreciate you watching. For those new subscribers, welcome. If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Love you. Bye.